Hey everybody. So when you're working as an engineer on a team, you're often sharing portions of your circuit with other teams. So it's useful to be able to represent your entire circuit as a simple, with a simple representation. Two such representations are called the Thevenin or Norton equivalent circuits. So let's say you have some complicated circuit like this, but there are nodes A and B that let's say you can test from those nodes, some complicated circuit. You can represent this as just a single resistor and a single voltage source like this. So this is called the Thevenin resistance. This is called the Thevenin and voltage, like that. Complicated circuit simplify to just one voltage source and one resistance in series. And then you know how to do source transformations. You can do a source transformation that turns that into one current source in parallel with one resistor, right? Doing a source transformation. So this would be the Norton equivalent current and Norton equivalent. So same, right? This is just the source transformation. Okay, so that's it. It's uh, straightforward and simple to explain, but might take a lot of work, so you have to practice. And here's how you do it. So let's say we have this circuit. Step one, to convert this, we want to convert this into something that looks like this. Where this is the Thevenin resistance, this is the Thevenin voltage. How do you do it? It takes two steps. Step one, find this open circuit voltage between these nodes. Open circuit voltage. Meaning nothing is connected between nodes A and B. Can you solve for this? The voltage between A and nodes A and B. That is this. Your open circuit voltage is the Thevenin resistant, the Thevenin voltage. Okay, then step two, put a wire here like this. So you're short circuiting node A and B, and you solve for the current here, the short circuit current. And then this Thevenin resistance is the open circuit voltage, which you just solved in step one, divided by the short circuit current that you found in step two. And then that's it. You got both of these. And then if you want a Norton equivalent, just do a source transformation. Okay, so let's try it with this example circuit. So step one, let's solve for the open circuit voltage. I'm just going to point something out here. There's nothing here. So how much current is going like this through the air? None. How much current is going here? Zero. Right? There's no current going this way because this is not even connected to anything. If there's no current going through this resistor, what's the voltage across? Zero. Right? So the, the voltage here is the same as the voltage here. So it's like this resistor doesn't even exist. So why bother, right? So the voltage here is the same as the voltage here. So it's like the circuit looks like this. And we're just concerned with the voltage here, right here. Okay, so how do we get the voltage right here? Whatever method you want. You, you learned all different types of methods. 
So this is where you start putting them into practice. How do you find the voltage? Here, you can use node voltage method. Let's say I pick a reference here. And I'll, this is node over here is node A, which is corresponding exactly to here. So how do we find it? KCL at node A, VA minus 20, over here is 25, right? With respect to here, 25 over five. That's over here. Going down this way, VA minus zero over 20. And then this is going in, so minus three equals zero, right? And then I can just solve for VA. Minus three, minus five, okay, so so that's uh, 4 over 20, so that's 5 over 20, so 1 fourth. Okay, so VA is 32. So the open circuit voltage is 32 volts, which means the Thevenin voltage is 32 volts. So halfway done. Okay, now let's put a wire here like this, and we need to solve for the current right here much current is there. So let me draw that again. Okay, so there's the 4 ohm resistor. And I already I noticed that if we look at it, it's the 4 ohm and the 20 ohm resistor are in parallel. So why don't we just combine those? Okay, so 4 and 20. Okay, so that's uh, 20 over 6, so like 10, 10 over 3. So 3.333. Okay, so that's what the circuit looks like. And we're trying to solve for the current. Okay, so. Take a look at this again. Okay, so if we can solve for the voltage right here, which is right here, if we know this voltage, then we can definitely solve for the current. So let's solve for that voltage, which we can use node voltage method again. I'll just call this node A. Okay, so KCL for node A, VA minus 25 over 5, that's over here. Then going down this way, VA minus 0 over 10 thirds. And then this current's coming in, so minus 3. All right, let's solve for VA over 5 plus, so 10 thirds, so 3 tenths, minus 5, minus 3, okay, so that's like 2 over 10, so 5 over 10, okay, so VA is 16, okay, so 16 volts right here, right here is 16 volts, which means the current this way has got to be 16 over 4, so 4 amps, 4 amps. So the short circuit current is 4 amps. So what is the Thevenin resistance? 32 volt, it was the open circuit, short circuit, 4 amps, so the Thevenin resistance, 8. So here we go. That's the circuit. Okay. So this method always works. If you do the open circuit voltage, short circuit current, that always works. Sometimes you can get away with just using source transformations, not always, because if you have dependent sources, using source transformations wouldn't work. This method will always work. 
this two-step process where you solve for the open circuit voltage, then the short circuit current. Always works. So I'll show you a trick that might work right here. It looks like we can replace that with a current source in parallel with that same 5 ohm resistor, right? This source transformation right here, where I is V over R, so 5. Then I'll draw the rest of the circuit. Okay, and then it looks like I can combine these in parallel. So 5 over 20, so that's 4 ohms. So I can, the equivalent resistance for that is 4 ohms. And then look, this is 5 amps, 3 amps. Those are in parallel. So I can combine those in parallel. And then one more time, I can do another source transformation, replacing this in parallel with this in series, the same 4 ohm. And the voltage here would be IR. Okay, and then look, I can combine these. So And look at this, it is already a Thevenin equivalent circuit, right? And look at what we got earlier, same. Okay, so the source transformation method, again, won't always work. If you don't have, if it's all independent sources, I think it was pretty quick, right? It was much faster than doing this other method. So just practice and keep practicing. And then I would, Practice doing this two-step method more so, so you have a lot of practice. Okay, so give it a try, and then let me know how it goes if you need any help, and I'll see you on the next video.